the goal of this project is, the R&D project, the research and design, is to look at a traditional permeable reactive barrier, or PRB, and be able to refine it and re-implement it into a system like the Hamblin Bog system, which is a very unique system. You don't normally see PRBs involved in these. They're normally a groundwater remediation tool. So our goal is to be able to implement these into a system like this and to be able to remove excess nutrients before they travel downstream through the watershed and into the Marsons Mills River. What we're doing is we're trying different types of deployment methods, different types of matrix, meaning the material that goes in the PRB, and different flow regimes. So we have to figure out all of those things before you can design a PRB. If the flow is too fast, it won't work. If there's, if there's not enough organic material in your PRB to remove the oxygen, to remove the nitrate, then it won't work. So this R&D project is to, is to work out all those things. Plus, we're trying a, a, a modular approach, and we've just started, you know. So it's not, these are not full PRBs, it's even the full thing that it'll look like in the end, but, the, but this is the necessary step in the construction of a technology for use in box. The steps you must take. The media in here is wood chips. Wood chips have been used in multiple uh, permeable reactive barrier systems and they're great because they act as a biofilm for, as an organic source for denitrification to occur with the microbes. So we're making sure that they have a saturated media, which is the wood chips, that creates kind of an anoxic zone, a lack of oxygen. And when the microbes are hungry and want to eat that oxygen and it's no longer there, they're looking for another source. So they're going to move on to nitrogen, which is what's helping us to remove it from the system. So this is our first experimental design. When you do see the, uh, the ditches here in their um, normal state, you wouldn't realize how much water really is flowing through them. The way the water gets backed up in there gives these bags a chance to actually be in contact with the water. And when you get to see the flow through these ditches when they're open, it's really quite amazing. There is flow out of here that you just don't see unless you closely observe. I am so excited about this project because I, at the age of nine, started helping with the Massachusetts Estuaries Project. So as a kid, I was water sampling, getting involved, looking at nutrient concentrations and trying to figure out how to clean up the, the water bodies that are in Barnstable. And so when I grew up and I was able to help with this project, it touches on both freshwater, saltwater, and engineering practices that I've always been interested in and wanted to continue with through grad school. We know we'll get it to work. The question is what will, the, what will it look like when it works? Because we're designing something that is a different way than people normally do it. And we're expecting that we have a modular system for use in cranberry bogs in that type of, of environment because cranberry bogs are functional systems. So you have to be able to remove them, you have to be able to move them. You can't do that with a lot of traditional PRPs. They, they go in, they stay in. You can just pull the bags, change the matrix, and we're just, the only reason we're doing it in the field right now is because we have access to it. And that makes, that's gonna significantly improve the speed of development because we're not making water up and pouring it through. If we are able to get the results that we need and want and the reduction that we believe would be appropriate for this system, these permeable reactive barriers can be implemented in a multitude of ecosystems through which we've already done preliminary data to know the concentrations uh, to which we want to reduce.